Hi everybody, another update. Um, been two or three weeks, as usual, I think. Um, uh, yeah, these are the Footsaw Irish, Dark Age Irish Cavalry. Haven't got very far with them at all. Uh, barely done anything actually, just sort of base coat for horses. Um, this black one, sort of done shading on it and highlighting, but it's a black horse, so I didn't want to. I would do it. I'm not sure if that's highlighted enough. I think it's one of those things with cavalry is uh, they don't look right until you've completed them. So I think I'll pretty much oops, possibly leave the horse at that. For now and just do all the reins and uh, bridles and everything and then you know, obviously get the rider and everything done and then have a look so black is one of those things isn't it to to paint you don't want to end up looking gray but uh you can see there's some highlight on the highlighting on there i'm just not sure if it's quite enough but i'll get everything else done around it and then i'll see but yeah so not very far with those but lovely figures and the reason I haven't got very far with them is because I ended up getting distracted by those um, Vikings that I found that were, as I believe, they were Vendel miniatures when I bought them, but they're part of the Griffin Beast range. So, yeah, I pressed on with those, and although I didn't need them for anything, I uh, I just fancied doing them, so I did them. Uh, let me see, you've got, I'll just do four at a time first. You've got these blokes with the Dane axes. Uh, where's the other one? Oh, there he is, yeah. Yeah, I've got these fellas with two handed axes. Um, yeah, I really like them. That chap there, that's a uh, little big man studio shield transfer. He's the only one who's got a shield. But yeah, I like those. I've just had an urge to paint some chainmail blokes with big axes. And um, so I happened upon these figures after no one had got them, but um, hadn't seen them for you know a couple of years. And then I stumbled across them and I just felt I had to paint them. So that's the two handed axes. Then got two fellas, it's one with a spear and one with sort of drawing a sword. Yeah, really like those. Nice posing, like the one drawing a sword, he's good. On these ones, I painted the shields. Just quick, kind of uh, simple pattern. Right, so that's them. Yeah, nice figures. And I think you can still, I mean, I know I've definitely seen him still in the if you look on Griffin Beast page, I'm pretty sure he's in there. You can definitely buy him. Yeah, nice figure, I like that one. It's quite a close up. Yeah, kept with muted colours, apart from the shields, where they're usually a bit fancier. Kept the tunics kind of neutral ish. Last of the rediscovered figures were these um, Ulfednar, so basically like wolfskin pelted um, berserkers. Very nice figures. Yeah, the two guys with shields, again these ones are little big men studio shields. What I really like on these is the um, 
Not sure where the shields are from. I've just got like a pack of shields at half sort of started. I think they might be Old Glory. Um, and they've got the wooden you know, planking kind of uh, texture. And the little big men sh uh, transfers go really well on those. I really like it. I need to find, I'd like to find some more of these wooden wooden slatted shields. I prefer the look of that than the uh, smooth. I mean, I know they covered them in leather and decorated them, but I like the look of sort of painted on wood. So uh, I'm going to have to try and find some more of these shields somewhere. Um, I'm pretty sure these were... I got the feeling they're from sort of packs of Dark Ages. I had from got from Old Glory. So uh might have to just rifle those maybe or uh, just see if I can find some somewhere and order some separate because they really like the look of them. Yeah, the the uh, shields sort of meld around them. The transfers meld around them really nice. But yeah, that's close ups. For the actual pelts, I rather than just doing grey and wash and dry brush, tried to put a bit of marking on them. I had a quick look at some wolf pictures and they got a lot of markings on them actually. Uh, I think the next bunch I do I'll put a bit more sort of creamy white on them because they do have a lot of white in their coats. But yeah, great figures. Really like them. I mean, I've got uh, 12 of these. So, um, and then I just bought, well, a couple of weeks ago they arrived. I got um, the new pack of eight that Warlord are doing. So I've got 20 guys like this now at least. I've probably got a few more dotted about, but really like those. I mean, um, got no special need for them at the moment because I've got all I need for Saga Vikings but these are the sort of things I could, could just keep painting really like them I think I've got my big clumsy fingers out of the way but yeah great figures really really like those um, enjoyed doing them uh, yeah I'm quite keen to paint some more. Like I say, I don't really need them for anything specific, but yeah, I like them. Uh, got a bit of a craving to paint some more Berserkers now. So that was all the Vendor Gripping Beast figures that I've... Well, it's not all of them. It's just the ones I picked out to paint. I've got, you know, a good 30 or 40 of them. But that's the just the few I wanted to paint to sort of get it out of my system, as it were. Now to a new range of figures I've discovered, and these are by a company called, well, the Miniature Company. That's, that's their name, and these are Dark Age Welsh. Um, I kind of dis oh, I discovered them. I think I've mentioned, yeah, I mentioned this last time, didn't I? I think Adam undercoated discovered them because I was looking for these Vendel miniatures and it somehow led me to their site. I mean, they haven't actually got any, but uh, yeah, they do this range of Dark Age Welsh, which I really like the look of. So uh, yeah, painted up. I just picked out three and painted them. Um, guy in the middle's got a little big men transfer. The other ones are just painted shields. Um, really like them. I like the, <laughs> I love the hairstyle on them, actually. Um, I went for obviously Welsh. I mean, all the Welsh people I've ever known are all been dark haired and thick eyebrows. So he's got the thick black eyebrow treatment. Um, yeah, really nice figures. Really enjoyed them. Um, I bought a couple of packs and a command pack. I've got about what? About 19 figures, I think. So uh, yeah, I bought two packs of spearmen and a command pack. I'll probably get another pack of... I'm hoping to work my way through the whole range. Um, get the, th the the final pack of spearmen. Again, don't particularly need them for anything 
Uh, I'm going to be doing a Welsh saga force, so they'll be going in that. And I've also got the Griffin Beast um, four point starter Welsh army, so I'll just mix them with those. But they do uh, spearmen, javelin men, archers. So I want to get all those, and they do some armoured spearmen as well, so they're sort of wearing chainmail and helmets, so I'll get a couple of packs of those. But yeah, I really like them. Uh, like I say, I love the, <laughs> love the air style on these. Not clear on what, you know, Dark Age Welsh did. I don't, I don't know if they tattooed themselves or, you know, did something funky with the hair, like, you know, like the... Britons used to lime the hair and make it white. I don't know if these did anything like that or coloured it in any way. So I just went for basic dark hair. Like I say, all the Welsh I've ever known have all been dark haired, very dark haired. And uh, so I've stuck with that for now. But yeah, nice, really nice figures. And they've got a very, uh, they mean business sort of look expression. On the faces, haven't they? Really nice. So yeah, the miniature company. If you want to look out for them? Uh, yeah, they do Dark Age Welsh. I think they do like Indians and all sorts of stuff. Um, but it's the Dark Age that I was more more interested in. And I'll uh, like I say, I'm going to pursue those and try and get the rest of them. So that's those. And the final painted thing are some more. 20 mil new line design Russians. And these are all Wonder Woman fair caps. Again, really good. You know, great detail. Great detail for the scale. Uh, and quite quick to paint, despite the detail. So, um, there we go. Just stuck with the formula of a, you know, half of them in uh, tan uniforms and half in green, and a bit of kind of urban battlefield rubble. Really nice. Yeah, so if you're in the market for some 20 mil World War Two, you uh, couldn't go too far wrong going for some of the New Line Design range. So far, I've only got Russians, but uh, I will look into what else they got. And uh, yeah, like I say, I think 20 mil is going to be a, a route I will go down as well. And, um, yeah, really nice figures they are. Yeah, they're enjoying painting them. So that's that. That's all the finished stuff. Uh, now is the next thing on my sort of to do, which is a um, final batch of footsore Irish warriors. And these are all javelins. And that would complete my um, six point saga force. I'm going to get those done. Oh, so that's them. Uh, just undercoated, ready to paint. Um, as usual, brilliant figures. Foot sore, really good stuff. I look forward to doing those. Um, yeah, and like I say, that'll be Saga Force ready, so I can actually have a go at the game now. Get me mate together, and um, it'll be Vikings against Irish. Um, yeah, so that's about it, I think. Not much else to say, hobby wise. General life wise, things seem to be turning to shit again with a house sale. Had an offer from someone. Um, and then rang back a couple of days later saying his wife was away for three weeks. And he wanted to wait for her to come and have a look at the house as well and 
him decide whether they wanted it, but you know, he did come on his own, what viewed the house and made an offer. I thought, well, if you need your wife with you, why did you even look in the first place? So that got our hopes up. Sell time went up and then came down two days later. So I'm getting very fed up with it all. Um, yeah. Really getting very fed up. Um, Dill, what can you do? Just have to hope we get someone soon because uh, I don't want to miss out on the house we, we really like, that we've seen. But anyway, yeah. Uh, Hobby-wise, yeah. That'll be... I'll finish, uh, what am I part with? Yeah, I'll finish that Irish Cavalry, and then I'll, ooh, yeah, then I'll do this lot. Um, and that'll be my saga, ready to go. Uh, yeah, thanks everybody subscribing, watching, commenting. Um, yeah, basically, that's about it. Right, take care everybody, see ya.